question 49 show that the linearly independent solutions of y double dash minus 3y dash plus 2y is equal to 0 are e raised to x and e raised to 2x find the solution y of x with the property that y of 0 is equal to 0 and y dash 0 is equal to 1 we are given a differential equation and two functions we have to show that these two functions are independent solutions to the differential equation and we have to find a y of x a general solution which satisfies uh, this initial value conditions so writing down the given part given y double dash minus 3 y dash plus 2 y equal to 0 let this be equation 1 now let's see the solutions uh, y1 of x equal to e raised to x and y2 x equal to e raised to sorry equal to e raised to 2 x now let's see if y1 x and y2 x are solutions to the di this differential equation so y1 dash equal to e raised to x and y2 dash sorry y1 double dash equal to e raised to x so that that becomes uh, so 1 becomes so 1 becomes y double uh, e raised to x minus 3 e raised to x plus 2 e raised to x so uh, equal to 0 so that becomes 0 equal to 0 so it becomes it reduces to an the differential equation uh, reduced to an identity when substituted so uh, this is y1 x is a solution to this differential equation we can check similarly for y2 so y2 dash equal to 2 e raised to 2 x 2x and y2 double dash is equal to 4 e raised to 2x so 1 becomes uh, y2 double dash so 4 e raised to 2x minus 3 into y dash 3 into 2 e raised to 2x plus 2 y plus 2 e raised to 2x equal to 0 so 4 plus 2 6 minus 6 so 0 equal to 0 so uh, this also reduced to an identity so we can say that therefore y1 x and y2 x are solutions to the equation 1 so we we found out that these y1 x and y2 x are solutions now we have to see whether they are independent solution linearly independent solution for that we can take round scan round scan is y1 of x y2 of x y1 dash of x y2 dash of x so this becomes e raised to x e raised to 2x e raised to x 2 e raised to 2x so on multiplication we get x plus 2 x 3 x 2 e raised to 3 x minus e raised to 3 x so it becomes e raised to 3 x so we can see that round scan is not equal to 0 for x element of minus infinity to infinity so open interval minus infinity to infinity so we can say we can say that y1 x and y2 x are linearly independent so y1 x and y2 x are solutions and they are linearly independent solutions so we can write a general solution as y a uh, using the linear independence property we can write e raised to x a e raised to x plus b e raised to x this is the general solution uh, to the problem now we have to uh, apply 
the given condition initial conditions y of 0 it is given that y of 0 is equal to 0 so for for y of 0 y of 0 is equal to 0 implies uh, a into e raised to 0 is a uh, plus b into e raised to 0 is c is equal to 0 a plus b is equal to 0 we got our con one condition 2 let this be 2 and y dash 0 is given to be 1 y dash 0 is equal to 1 therefore uh, y dash equation is so y dash becomes a e raised to x plus 2b e raised to 2x so from this we can write y dash 0 is equal to 1 means uh, a plus 2b equal to 1 so from this if you subtract 3 minus 2 we get b equal to 1 and a plus b is equal to 0 so f f uh, from 2 a equal to minus b equal to minus 1 so we got our a and b so that means y equal to a into e raised to x that is my e raised to x plus b 1 into e raised to 2x is the solution is the required solution or we can write y equal to e raised to 2x minus e raised to x as our required solution so this is the solution to question number 49.